but I've come up with a new idea. And that is, if you can't remember having seen a bird, it's a new bird for you. So the older you get, the easier it is to get new birds. What's on top of the mesquite? I'm Victor Emanuel. I was born in Houston, Texas. And one thing, guys, I didn't get to mention about scope procedure. Look, to the right, a flock of birds are coming in. I got interested in birds when I was eight years old, and it's changed my life. When I was in the Cub Scouts, one of the boys said, you should join the Outdoor Nature Club. You should go to their meetings, because I can tell you're interested in nature and birds. So I went, and there I met my mentors. Frank Watson, Armand Iramatiki, and Joe Heiser. And there I understood how important mentoring is. Those men gave me two great gifts. One, to appreciate every bird and animal that I saw, even if I'd seen it before to savor it, to look at all the marks on it, all the detail, and to be interested in conservation. So they gave me that. Those were the gifts my mentors imparted to me. We've got some young birders in front of us who are scouting. <laughs> I've known Victor my whole life, and he's got me into birding. Interesting. He's a big reason why I like the outdoors. Yeah, here's the summer tanager here. Wonderful. He's an amazing person. I love him. Early I was interested in being a biologist, and then I decided my interest in birds was more just looking at them and enjoying them, not studying them in the detailed way a biologist does. And then I got involved in running bird tours. I saw that that was a way that I could have more time out in nature. I'd look at these catalogs and it just gives me a sense of what a I could start a company and offer in Texas, Arizona and Mexico, where I and some of my friends knew those areas. And very soon we expanded to Panama, Peru, now 150 tours all over the world. Victor, there is, a, there is an or Oriole visible here. My name is Barry Lyon. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Victor Emanuel Nature Tours. There's the Oriole on top. In 1986, Victor started a program of summertime youth camps for young people that were interested in birds and natural history. Until that time, nothing like that had ever been done before. Early in 1987, I went when I was 15 years old. Attending the youth birding camp was a transformative experience in my life. Ultimately, Victor offered me a job when I was about eight months out of college, and I've been with him and this company ever since. I love birds and nature. I enjoy guiding very much. But I didn't necessarily land in this line of work because this is what I had to do with my life. I chose it because of the examples that Victor set. A lot of activity coming in. Immortality is not having a monument named after you, which eventually is going to fall down. It's to offer good values and change the life of a person that then may change the life of another person that's younger, and then another person that's younger, and then another person that's younger, and that can go on for hundreds and hundreds of years. That's immortality.